Hi, in case any of you out there were thinking for Halloween this year, getting a Halo costume, I guess, for of any year, it is 2010. It's the begin. It's the end of 2010. This December, it will be 2011. One year from 2012. So, in case any of you were thinking about buying a Halo costume, and didn't know whether the store-bought ones looked pretty good or not, I'll let you guys be the judge of that. So, we have this jumpsuit with the uh, legs. They only come in adults, but for Halloween, I'm gonna bring a uh, belt. Um, and not uh, have to do this. So. this right. so uh, that's a great costume to have plus with the helmet I already put it together but not anymore it comes looking like this back so you can see it's a oh so it's a two piece this one here I'll let you guys see what I see do you see what I see that's not me that's my sister so that's what it looks like on me I'll show you guys how to put it together. It's really simple. It has the velcro. It has them all over, so you just velcro them on everywhere. It's hard. I recommend putting together the helmet for you. Get the costume on, because it's really not something that like to I wouldn't mind if it fades it. These are seventy dollar costumes and I got my nap. All of the old fiberglass ones where it actually looks like super cool. But in case you guys want to know how much those are, helmets with the flashlights on the side cost $400. The whole suit together, just the costume not included in any guns. I haven't looked up the guns yet, but that would be cost like $800 for the whole costume with the helmet included. So. It's actually a pretty good price, six hundred dollars for the fiberglass costume and four hundred dollars for the helmet. So, yeah. So this is what it looks like. So um doesn't come with any gloves or that. In this video, if you've ever seen a black modified Nerf gun that looks like a Halo gun, there is a simple way to do that. So my parents, they said that I couldn't do it, but there's nothing that says you guys can't do it. So, um, you should ask your parents, but go to Toys R Us, get spray paint. Lay a gun down, like, lay the gun down that you want, but not on the grass or anything. Do not use paper. 
or leave it outside for three days because of the sting, and and it takes about an hour to dry and three days to get rid of the sting. So if you guys have a bird hanger and a bird feeder hanger, I know that sounds stupid, but it works the best to use it. So you're gonna spray paint it both sides, and then you have your your modified nerf gun. If you have a flashlight that you want to use, cover the flashlight part. So. Again, I'm going to show you guys the helmet. This is all plastic. Then, that's what it is inside. Again, my view. So. See you guys on my other videos, plus I recommend using Nerf guns, I like those the best, Stampede.